Now we're going to talk about race in the royal family. Deborah Roberts is here with a look at Britain's colonial past. Good morning. Good Deborah. morning, Michael. Yes, yeah, so much talk about this, as you know. It's an important conversation with some saying that all that traditional pomp and circumstance of the coronation is important, but it also is a reminder of the empire and this nation's imperialist history. As Charles ascended the throne last September, across the globe, several of the 14 Commonwealth realms showed their support for their new head of state. From Canada, Long live the king. To the Bahamas, God save the king. And Australia, God save the king. But not all are rejoicing in the Commonwealth. It is this symbol of white supremacy. It is this link to the colonial era. The Crown's history of colonialism cutting deep in countries like Jamaica. I don't see what they are doing for us here in Jamaica. Where some say the wealth of the former empire was built on the backs of those it once enslaved. That wealth is something we never shared in. So for us in Jamaica, the monarchy is a harsh reminder for unfortunate past. What about the ripple effect? What was the ripple effect? Well, the ripple effect was twofold. One, Britain became wealthy. There's no better example of the, the wealth of display of the country than you'll see in the coronation. And then the flip side of that is you also have poverty. Most people live in conditions which are just as bad as they were 100 years ago under the British Empire. So the, the legacy of the empire is deep poverty in the black and brown parts of the world and wealth in the white part of the world. In recent years, the monarchy has started to publicly acknowledge its imperial past. Last spring, Charles and Camilla visiting Canada, where he reflected on the United Kingdom's treatment of the indigenous people there. We must find new ways to come to terms with the darker and more difficult aspects of the past. Acknowledging, reconciling, and striving to do better. Barbados was the latest country to sever its ties to the monarchy, declaring itself a republic in 2021, removing the queen as its head of state. Charles attending its transition ceremony and speaking about slavery on the island. From the darkest days of our past and the appalling atrocity of slavery, which forever stains our history. Jamaica now considering following suit its Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, had a blunt message for Prince William when he visited last year. We are moving on, and we intend to fulfill our true ambitions in destiny as an independent, uh, developed, prosperous country. An apology from the King could come with a steep cost. Some Caribbean countries calling for reparations to right the wrongs of the past. He stopped short of apologizing. Yeah. Should he? Well, it'd be nice if he apologized. Once you apologize, that means you're saying you're guilty of something, and then people can call for reparations. So I'll, I'll be very surprised if he apologizes, because it, op it opens up the royal family to be sued for millions of pounds. This is a question that's going to be dogging this new king. How can the monarchy heal its racial history? How can it evolve? Many thought Harry and Meghan, who is biracial, would help in that conversation in some ways. But with the two stepping back from their royal, royal duties and a bit estranged from the royal family, the new king is going to have to figure out how to sort out his own family, Michael, and his own personal signals of maybe making change in a world that's much different from the one his mother was crowned in. Yeah, and when I spoke to Harry, he said he felt like they missed an opportunity mm. with him and Megan. And a lot of people are saying that. So it's going to be a big question. Didn't happen that much mm -hmm. during the Queen's reign, but it's going to continue to be asked. All right. A lot of, a lot of stuff's going to be asked post-coronation, Deb. Right. Thank you so much for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.